YouTube channel. Hi, this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com and Mr. GTV live in the YouTube channel and in the Facebook Mr. GTV platform. And I've got some great questions from the members. And if you want to contribute, then go to Mr. GTV on Facebook and you can comment. And this video will be uploaded to the Mr. GTV Facebook channel where you'll be able to comment and put your point of view and have your say in the comments box. Let me just sign in. So I'm signing in, saying hi. Now, I'm fully aware that on a Monday night, uh, particularly just at the moment leading up to Christmas, that I'm actually competing in the UK with the Australian um, I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here with Anton Deck. So I don't know how many people are going to join me tonight. But I think one of the reasons that I host this particular event um, as often as I'm possibly able to do is simply because there's so much going on in the world at the moment that we have a situation where people are dumbed down. Uh, hi, Rella, not able to say anything. And they don't really know how to get together and who they can trust to talk to about certain aspects of society, politics, finance, family. Hey, Rella. Um, what's going on in terms of um, medical things at the moment or uh, political things at the moment? Um, mind, body, spirit, which is what I have on, which is what I'm interested in, and all things energy and consciousness. And I've got some great questions for you. So if you're watching this, hi Frank, if you're watching this in the replay after this live, then please comment, please like, please subscribe both to the Facebook and to the YouTube channel where I'm actually uh, filming this also. Two cameras working at the moment. So how are you on this lovely evening? It's Monday the 7th. Hi Julia, Monday the 7th of November 2022, lots going on. I hope you had a great Halloween if you celebrate that. Uh, spooky night. And I hope, hi Steph, I hope you had a really good bonfire night if you celebrate that. And whatever's coming up for you, I send you love, I send you peace. And I hope that you're powerful. I really need you guys to tell me what you want more of and less of in the Mr GTV Facebook and YouTube group. But I think at the moment, this Ask Mike Monday is really, really important. And you're asking me, and I always say that in my response, I never say that I'm right. I'm offering it for your consideration. And I want your point of view. I want your reply. I want your kind, constructive input. And let's keep this kind and constructive because we need more things that unite us. And let's be agreeable. Uh, you don't have to agree, but let's be agreeable, let's be kind, let's be constructive. Um, and let's not get hung up on words either. Sometimes I use words which might conflict with your belief system and the words that you use. I might use spirit or energy when you use God or Holy Spirit. Some mediums, some psychics use other words. Some theologists use other words. Some uh, philosophers or uh, psychologists will use other words in different cultures, in different dialects, in different countries. We use different words, but we pretty much mean the same thing. So don't um, switch off just because I use a different vocabulary to you. Um, let's get together and, and share each other's opinions. And as I say, I really want your opinion. And if you've got good questions, then post them to me on any of the contact details where you're viewing this presentation. You can inbox me anytime at Michael Garner or at Mr. Mike Garner, or you can email me at Mike at Mr. Mike Garner dot com. And we can have a chat. We're here for that. Or, or you can just when I put up a Ask Mike Monday event, you can just post your question in the comments box. Uh, I've decided tonight to pose the questions um, anonymously. I'm not going to say who's asked the question. Because it might be that you've asked a question and you don't particularly want your name attached to that question for your own personal reasons. So I respect that. I'm under licence. I'm a qualified, accredited, insured therapist. So I'm used to keeping confidences. So if you want to ask a question, but you don't particularly want to be associated to that question, 
just tell me. And if you want to be associated to it, just tell me. But tonight I've got five good questions and um, I'm not particularly going to say who's asked them. So let's just start with the first question. I posted in the Mr. GTV Facebook page an optical illusion. It was um, two like squares. You can go on to the Mr. GTV Facebook page and notice that I think it was Saturday. It's Monday today. I posted an optical illusion of two cubes and a line. And it looked, if you look at it, as if the top cube, the top animation is a light grey and the bottom animation is like a dark grey, like a slate colour. And there's a line. And on the actual optical illusion, it said, cover the line with your finger and then you'll notice that the top and the bottom are the same colour. So you had two cubes, two squares in the animation. Top one was light grey, bottom one was like a dark slate. But then when you put your finger over the dividing line, you realised all of a sudden that they were the same colour. So that's the optical illusion. And uh, the question was that I was asked is, how does that work? Well, all optical illusions are delusions. And all optical illusions are optical. In other words, they are uh, your optic nerve is being deceived. It's a perception deception. And it's kidding the brain. Now, my answer, and you'll all have answers. So thank you, Ella, for watching. Thank you, Fionn. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Steph. And anybody else watching this in the catch-up. Check that out on the Mr. GTV Facebook page. Probably posted on the 5th or the 4th or the 6th. I think it was on the 5th. I think it was on Saturday of November 2022. But when you're looking at anything, as you perceive it as being outside of you, what you're doing is, is you're looking at it. This is what you believe. And then you're interpreting it inside your mind. So let's talk about what's going on if that's your belief system. Hi Mary, so if you believe that that optical illusion on the Mr GTV Facebook page is out there and you're decoding it in here, then what's actually happening is that you're trying to make sense of it based on what you've been told and your past experiences. So you're, you, you've been told, if you like, that this is a grey jumper, that that's green trees, even though that's my backdrop. Hi Mary, that these are glasses. Mike's got no hair. <laughs> this is what you've been taught through conditioning, through nature and nurture. But actually, anything that's out there, just based on that idea that it's out there, you can change your decision as to what it is out there. I do that quite a lot in therapy with people. Things that they're frightened of, they have made a decision in the past. And in hypnosis or in therapy, I change that decision for them. Then they have a different experience. Maybe they don't like tomatoes, but I want them to eat salad. Well, they might not like tomatoes because when they were a child, they might have cut one with a knife and it squidged out. And they thought, ooh, looks like an eyeball or it looks, ooh, gooey, don't like tomatoes. And they'll not like tomatoes for the rest of their life. Or maybe they put their hand up in primary school and they were laughed at. So now they think, okay. Every time I put my hand up, every time I ask a question, I'm laughed at. So you make a decision. In hypnosis or therapeutic, non-hypnotic interventions, which is what I do, counselling therapy, transactional analysis, I can change that decision and we can update it for something more beneficial. So in the light of new information, you change your perception. Now, this is what's happening all the time in the media, but be very careful what I say. I don't want to be deleted. But we're constantly being bombarded with what we should think, how we should perceive something, what we should believe. And what we've got to do sometimes is step back and say to ourselves, how's that working for me? Because when I have somebody coming to me, maybe with a relationship issue, or a personality disorder, or a fear, a phobia, an addiction, a compulsion, something that's not working for them, I can change that by installing new files. 
So if you change your files, you change your perception. That's really powerful to know. So when you look at an optical illusion, sometimes it's like, um, I don't know, three pillars. But when as you move down, it changes and it becomes two. So it's an optical illusion. But once you've seen the trick, then it doesn't work a second time. Once you understand the trick, once you understand the illusion, the illusion loses its power. And that's very important to know, which is why this is a great question at the moment, that if you see through the bullshit, if you change the way that you look at things, then the things that you look at change. And that's a massively powerful statement. And I can thank Wayne Dyer for that. When you change the way that you look at things, the things that you look at change. But the beauty of, well, my process and your process is that you can step, step back and make a new decision or you can install a new belief hypnotically, self-hypnotically through meditation, through repetition, through incantation, through affirmation, through visualisation. All these processes that I'm actually sharing. Hi, Nikki. And you can change your perception. But I'm going to take this one step further on this first question, one of five that I've been asked for Ask Mike Monday, which is why I host this. Hi, Sasha. But a lot of people believe that the outside world is out there, that it's out there, and that you're separate from it and you're interpreting it in here. Hi, Susan. Good to see you, Susan. Good to see you, Sasha. Lovely to have you here, Mary and, and Nikki. And Steph and Julia and Fionn and Ella. As I say tonight, I realise I'm competing with I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. But we know that's just chewing gum for the mind. <laughs> that's, uh, hi Catherine, that's my daughter. We all know that that's um, propaganda and predictive programming and all that sort of stuff. That's hypnosis. That's a perception deception. So... To take it one step further in that simple question about optical illusions and the fact that things are out there, we interpret them in here. I believe, and I think I can prove to you that you can have a belief and whatever you believe, whatever you see in here, in your mind, in your mind's eye, you actually put out there. So you don't actually see what you believe. that you create the belief and you put it out there, you do actually see what you believe instead of believing what you see. If you believe what you see, then you believe all the stuff that would be projected to us on television, all the advertising that works. And we know advertising works because that's why we buy things. That's why television time in between Coronation Street, I'm a celebrity. There's more and more adverts now on ITV Hub and BBC iPlayer. I've come back from Thailand, having been over there for four years. I've never noticed before how long the gaps are between the programmes, which are programmes, it's programming. And then there's more programming in the advert, getting you to buy things from toy shops at Christmas and things from Marks and Spencers at Christmas. Hi, Teresa. So that's all programming, it's all conditioning, it's all NLP, it's all hypnosis. So we're very easily influenced. Now, instead of being influenced by that, we've got to be the influencer. We, as the observer, can project a different reality. Hi, Lynn. We can project a different reality by changing the way that we think. I haven't watched TV for six years now, well done you. Well, I've got to be honest with you, Mary, I do watch certain things, but I don't watch the crap. I believe that I watch the good stuff. And then I'm very discerning about how I perceive it. So for me, hi, Len. So for me, we're just changing that distortion round and we're on question one on Ask Mike Monday, which I think is so important at the moment with so much that's going on in the world. And there's an opportunity for you guys to write on the screen and ask me a question. And then any question that I've been asked in advance of here, and I've got five, and any questions that you present to me during this live, everybody else can have a say. 
and anybody in the catch up can have a say and we can keep this going until the next Ask Mike Monday because you need a platform where you can talk honestly but be kind and be constructive and don't get me deleted and don't get the platform um, we don't want three strikes from Zuckerberg do we because that's happened to me before so be mature and we can all read between the lines so you don't necessarily have to put every word in that the algorithm will find fault with we don't want to be fact checked so be careful what you say i mean when when when, when all this was going on and this was going on i had code words for the c word i called it colin and when we all were being told what the V word was doing it. I was calling it Vera. <laughs> or, or missing a few letters out and putting asterisks and stars. Changing it round a bit. So be savvy, guys, so we don't get deleted. But there's a massive perception deception going on. There's an optical illusion going on. And there's massive gnosis going on. I mean, the government do have a behavioural insights team. They are policing themselves, not pleasing themselves, even though they are pleasing themselves, they're policing themselves. And there's mass hypnosis going on and there's mass psychosis going on. And it's a perception deception like the optical illusion where I started this question with. How does it work? Well, our mind is unpacking things all the time, making decisions based on decisions that we've made in the past. So on that particular optical illusion I posted two days ago on the Mr. GTV Facebook channel, it looks like there's two separate colours in the animation in the little cartoon. But when you put your finger on the line with the square above it and the square below it, you realise that they're both the same colour but they look different. And you can Google optical illusions and you'll see them all and they're all very interesting, I love them. But they are illusions and we're in a world of illusions, we're in a world of images. And as a hypnotist, I put images into people's minds and then that becomes their reality. You only have to look at the stuff I've got on the Mr. GTV YouTube channel where if I tell somebody the hand stuck to the head, it's stuck to the head, even though it's not. I've got marbles in the mouth, they can't talk, even though there's no marbles in the mouth, they can't talk. You get a good visualiser, a high-level visualiser, and when they believe something, that becomes their reality. Now, most people who are being affected by government propaganda, and the stuff that's being projected to us on television by politicians, surprisingly, and you'll be surprised and you'll probably concur with me on this, all your clever friends are probably the worst offenders of believing the bullshit because they're clever. Intelligent people are my best subjects. People go, oh, can you hypnotise? Hey, he's a bit of a dummy. She's a bit stupid, she'll fall for it. No, you can't hypnotise people who haven't got a good imagination, can't concentrate, can't follow instructions, have got low levels of intelligence, whatever that means. High-level visualisers are intelligent people who are seers, who are leaders. And so this is why, in my opinion, the powers that be behind the government can easily persuade these so-called Eton and Oxford and Cambridge educated, privately schooled elites who are running the government and then they're projecting that onto us. Don't be fooled, guys. Use your intelligence for you, not against you. Don't believe the perception deception and make some new decisions. As I said, that famous... Wayne Dyer expression is when you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. And you can make some new decisions about yourself. You can make some new decisions about your relationships, your life, your work, every aspect of your life you can change tonight. And if you don't know how to do that, we need a chat. So that was the first question. Second question was actually about some of the stuff I'm posting on Mr. GTV which is about hidden history. And if you go to Mr. GTV on the Facebook channel, go to topics and hashtag hidden history. Hidden history. This was actually asked by Mark Williams. 
in the group who contributes quite a lot and I really respect anybody who contributes because that makes me feel valued. I hope you're enjoying the stuff that I'm posting. If you don't enjoy it, tell me and tell me what you would like me to talk about, what you would like to see more of and what you want to see less of because I'm into all things Mike Body Spirit. I've hosted empowerment groups for over 35 years and I'm qualified in certain strategies and disciplines. And if you go to my website, mrmikegarner.com, take a look there. And if there's any questions there in any of the products that, or services that I offer, thank you, Steph. Then I'll answer all your questions or anything about the world or psychology, theology. But I'll only give you my opinion. I'll never say I'm right. You guys have got opinions. Let's hear your opinions. Let's see what you guys think. So there's a hidden history. Let me explain what I mean by that. I know because I've worked with the military. I also know because I've worked in health departments, education departments, local government departments. I've been about a long time, so I've got quite a few experiences. And I've blacked myself into all sorts of jobs and positions, which I'm very proud of. And things are changing all the time. But not only are things changing, things are... Past knowns are being changed. I'll choose my words. This is one of those moments where I'm going to speak in sort of code and read between the lines, guys. But you, depending what age you are, you were told certain things. Like when you had a COLD, a common COLD, you were told to wrap up warm, get some fresh air, have some honey and lemon, do this, don't do that. I think it was starve a fever, feed a cold or something like that. Now, a lot of these so-called old wives' tales have been handed down and they make sense. And past D-O-C-T-O-R-S's, D-O-C-T-O-R-S's, who you would be able to phone up and get a home visit, or go and see, and they would make an assessment and give you their best advice, holistically. Over the last 20, 30 years, that's changed. And over the last 20, 30 months, that's rapidly changed. And a lot of things that you and I know about immunity, immune systems, and the way your body works, and the things that are good for you, what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what maintains your health, what destroys your health, that's been changed. There's new vocabulary now. And you can't get to see these professionals such as they are. And a lot of things that you know work from the past that you were told by your parents or whoever brought you up and their grandparents, that's all been changed. In fact, it's been denied truth is being hidden and there's a new truth there's a new vocabulary it's rather like what's going on hi sue it's rather like what's going on with sex education that's now being offered in primary schools a very 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 yes it is mary i completely agree just re read what mary says and she's very qualified to say that it's natural it's normal and it's healthy to sneeze and cough and evacuate these viruses, these toxins from your body. In fact, it's a good thing. You don't want to suppress that. And what was a V-A-C-C-I-N-E -E in the past? We've been given a jabberoonie now that is spurious to say the least. And do your research and I won't go too deeply into it. But if you do your research and look at the evidence and the data as it's currently being released, even by the companies that have produced this stuff, you'll realise that the whole thing was, I'll use the word spurious, I'm tempted to say scam and I'm tempted to say criminal. 
Now, whatever you've had, whatever you've done, whatever your history, you can take control of that. You can actually detoxify yourself in so many ways and look after yourself and become healthy and vital and energetic. Get a good night's sleep. Do some exercise moderately within your capability. Eat certain things. Think certain things. Stop eating certain things. Stop doing certain things. Stop thinking certain things. And that will massively contribute towards your health. And your well-being and your vitality and your longevity. But you won't be told that. By people now that you can't even see. And when you could see them, they're no more than salesmen for certain companies. And the old remedies are being hidden. It's rather like the witch hunt in the 15th, 16th, 17th century, where church and state ganged up on the witches and the witches were demonised. Were, we were told they were evil. They weren't. They were called cunning women. Cunning women. And that comes from the etymology of that as being Halloween. A cunning woman was involved in cunnilingus. And we were told they were witches. And they were hung and they were put on ducking school uh, stools and set on fire. And the people were made to be scared of them. But they were midwives. They were holistic practitioners. They were naturopaths, homeopaths. They worked with alchemy. They worked with herbs and spices which the government couldn't tax and couldn't control, and it made people well. But it was independent, and then that knowledge went underground. And that knowledge went underground, and that became the New Age knowledge. Now there's Steph talking. She says, got a good research presentation, reference what you're talking about. I can post it if anybody would like to have a watch, if you don't mind me posting it here, Mike. Um, as long as it's not been fact-checked in the past on another forum, because I don't want Mr GTV fact-checked and having a strike against it, Steph. So use your discretion. But Steph has offered there, Steph Lewis, if you contact Steph and you want to see some good research papers, a presentation, contact Steph and Steph will send that to you. Thank you, Steph. Now, Steph, I'll, I'll tell you now, she's one of many that I'm mentoring through energy healing. Energy healing's all been woo-wooed, but you've got people like Tesla who worked all his life, free energy. The electric car is named after him and he invented loads of things and he never got a government patent. A lot of his work was stolen by the government and he ended up a poor man locked up because the government didn't want people to be well and they didn't want us to have free energy. No, you haven't joined. We're on question two. Sonny, we're on question two. So there's lots of information out there, but this is being hidden. And as I say on Mr. GTV, hashtag hidden history. A lot of this knowledge is being hidden. Because they don't want the people to be powerful. They're trying to dumb you down. Mentally, emotionally, physically, particularly at the moment with certain things that have happened since 2019. And there's an issue that I would wish you to go. And I've got to be careful what I say. But if I just say S-A-D. Now that spells SAD. Which it could be interpreted as an acronym for... Um, Seasonal adjusted disorder, which is a phenomena, which is true. The absence of sunlight, vitamin D. But it's actually a new acronym now. For something that starts. It's called SADS. And the first two words are sudden adult. And I won't say any more because the algorithm will probably give me a strike talking about it. But look at the excess mortality at the moment. Which is off the Richter scale. 
So there's a massive agenda and there's a hidden history and there's a reset going on. Don't take my word for it. Look at the World Economic Forum, both in 2015 and also in 1999, when they brought out a paper which was called the um, Global Diversity Assessment. And everything that's in that paper, which is a book with about 1,200 pages in it, more than a paper, it's a massive document, which you can't get hold of anymore because I tried to and you can't. Because they're denying it, but it is a physical thing. Pretty much, they're rolling out what they call lockstep. Chapter by chapter, word by word, verse by verse. What was put in that paper, that document, that 1200 page book. It was all foretold. And it was to reset society, finances, people. So this is what's going on. The rewriting history. This is why so many people have been deleted. Hopefully not me, although I was deleted two years ago for something that I said about natural immunity and attitude. That if you are positive, then you can get through anything. If you're negative, it'll get to you because it brings down your metabolism and your immune system. And I was deleted for that. I went into Facebook prison. So I've got to be very careful what I say because I'm needed on online because a lot of my end of life clients use Messenger. There's lots of things going on and I talk about this on Mr. GTV. So what's your opinion on the mud floods? Do you know about it? The mud floods. What do you know about molten buildings? What do you know about hidden cities that are underneath our cities? Are you aware that the, world, that the word electricity is a play on words, as many things are within the language? This is the hidden history, the hidden language, the occult language. And occult just means hidden. It's not bad. Like the witches weren't bad. Just demonised. Yes, Tartaria. Thank you, Mary. They are elect, electric cities. Electric cities, in the past, we had a technology that we're not aware of that was far more advanced than what we've got now. Free energy. Mechanical and electrical devices. In Paris, there's photographs and video that I could send to you of electric pavements, not electric walkways, not like at, you know, um, an airport where you get on a conveyor belt thing instead of walking when you're trying to get to the gate. But actually outside, powered by free energy in Paris. Walkways where people had assisted walking. They had segways in the 1700s. Electric cars. There's a guy in India at the moment who's just been killed and he just patented a motor vehicle that would run on water and they killed him. As I say, Tesla. Tesla actually could magnify the clouds and create rain and water. It's called geoengineering. And he had all his paperwork took off him, all his research stuff. What was called Tesla coils. Put in prison. And they sat on that technology. I believe now that that's being used by HARP. In the Arizona desert. Google that. H double A. RP, Hotel Alpha Alpha Romeo Papa, Harp. It's a thing, it's on Google Maps. It's a massive network of acupuncture needles, if you like, coils that are magnetizing and electrifying, ionizing the atmosphere. And they're playing with hurricanes and they're playing with weather manipulation. And they can send these through the uh, Colorado corridor into Europe and into America. A lot of these things have gone wrong, which is what's caused the floods and the hurricanes and the tornadoes in certain parts of America. Now, a lot of people say, oh, there you go with your conspiracies, Mike. Do your research. Don't take my word for it. So the question was, that I was asked is about the hidden history and the Malton village and the knowledge that was destroyed. 
you know when um, we sent the troops to Antarctica, the belief is that they destroyed um, a stargate there and there's photographs of it. And I know personally from working with the troops in Germany, because I went over there to work with some families, and I also had the honour of working with some guys with PTSD and a whole lot of other stuff. And I'm personally friends with some of these guys who have still active civilian staff and some military staff and also through soldiers off the street and North Wales veterans that I work for and with. That when we went into Iraq and Iran, we told that we went there to liberate the people. But what they actually did was they secured the oil and went into all the sacred buildings and destroyed the culture and the knowledge. They went in looking for evidence of what's called the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki were the extraterrestrials that is also a hidden piece of information. The UFO stuff that's coming out now because they can't hide it anymore. Hi, Janice. And so they're having to release it. I mean, the biggest observatory, now you might not know this, the biggest observatory that's a actual proper constructed telescope, not a radio telescope, is actually at the Vatican. Now, why would the Vatican, a massive religious, political, in my opinion, organisation with loads of power across the world, be looking to the stars? There you go. So Mary's just adding there. She's very knowledgeable, Mary. Antarctica, the dome ends, and we're in a confined zone of prison. Absolutely. Well, part of the 1999 assessment on biodiversity was to create what they have created, which are called uh, human settlements. And what they're doing is they these electricities, electric cities, what they're doing is they're getting the population off the land and they're creating smart areas, smart, smart zones, smart cities that they're looking. If you look at the paper and it's there to be read the, um, the great reset by the world economic forum and people like Klaus Schwab and others. I won't say any more, do your own res research. Hi, Angela. That what they're doing is they're creating 6k and 10k towns. But there is, health-wise, a whole load of hidden knowledge. Now, Angela's just come in now, under the name of Red Yalia there. And in the same way that Mary's very knowledgeable, and we've got Steph in, who's doing energy training, God bless her, and we've got Fionn in, who's a psychic medium and does Reiki and a whole load of other stuff. And we've got my daughter in, who is also the same. Angela who's just said good evening Reg Alia. one of the strings to her bow, she's a very competent, qualified and knowledgeable sound therapist. And I've attended her gong baths, which is sound therapy, something else that Tesla talked about and many others, and they've all been debunked, ridiculed, had the research destroyed. Because the government, etymology to govern your mentality, don't want this stuff out in the public domain. It's hidden. This is why it went underground, like I talked about the witches. There was a massive witch hunt that went on for decades. And thousands of midwives and these cunning women who dealt with cunnilingus. It's all about energy and kundalini. Cunning women, cunnilingus, sexual energy. Health, vitality, immunity, being strong mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Well, the church and state didn't want that, did they? So there were, there was a witch hunt. They were deleted. Have you heard that word recently? The knowledge was deleted. The people were deleted. Now, I don't want to go into conspiracies, but you look at how many people are being deleted, debunked. And to be honest with you, 
disappearing, I'll just use that word, who are standing up for human rights, human freedoms, freedom of speech. Thank you, Mary. So I just sent you something privately on Messenger because Mary is conscious, and I hope you all are, that we don't want to get deleted. But you guys in Mr. GTV, either watching it here in YouTube, I've got two cameras, or you guys who are communicating with me on the Facebook page. Thank you. I know I'm competing with, I'm a celebrity, but you guys are my celebrities. And anybody watching this in catch up, talk to each other, send each other information. Put your questions into the comments boxes. Have something to say because we need it because we're losing the right to talk freely. None of us want to get a strike, do we? None of us want to be deleted because we use this for our own personal reasons. But this stuff is going underground. So... Mark Williams asked me a question. This is the third question. If you guys have got questions, put them on the screen and we'll go through it all tonight. Got three more questions and this one's interesting. Nikki Whitaker is there saying, do you believe in multidimensions and parallel universes, Mike, and travelling between them? I believe there are lots of conspiracies and lots that's true, but I also believe that a lot of it is their own realities, not false negative ones. Everything is frequency and is energies, and I personally think it's better to focus on our own light and power to create and focus on what we want, not what we don't want. I know knowledge is power, but so is raising our own frequencies more important. Thanks, Mike. So who believes, who agrees? Put, put a thumbs up or put a yes if you agree with Nicky Whitaker's lovely paragraph there. I do. I do. I do. I massively respect that statement and that comment. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up there for that one. 100%. That we all, in my opinion, as I started with question one, perception, deception and optical illusions, believe that we put our reality out there. And I talked about the demonstrations I've done. Maybe I'll post it again. But Sue Parker is still with us, hopefully. Her daughter, Louise, came to me as a volunteer to have an imagination experience. I call it change phenomena hypnosis. It's great fun. And it's on YouTube for you to see. It's about 13 minutes where I get her. And one of the best things ever is Sue and Louise, I went to the house I said to Louise in hypnosis that your mum's an alien and your mum's dog is something off Doctor Who. But it's funny. It's not scary. I don't like to scare people. And when she opened her eyes, I said, uh, who's this lady sat on the couch with you here? And she looked at them and she didn't couldn't work it out. And I said, is that your mum? She said, no. I said, who is it? She said, it's an alien. She really believed it. And it's so funny. You can watch that. It's on YouTube. I posted it about three weeks ago. So it's not, you don't have to scroll down a lot on the Mr. GTV YouTube. Mr. GTV is capital M, small r, capital G, capital T, capital T, uh, capital V, TV. And um, when you accept a belief, that becomes your reality. What you believe, you see. What you believe, you see. What you visualise, you materialise. That's fascinating, isn't it? That's why I'm really pushing the envelope at the moment with cure hypnosis telling people that they can create a better effect using meditation, hypnosis, and not medication. That I can get people to almost like imagine that pen was a spliff, light it for them, pretending, get them to draw off it, and they're actually off the face. That's water. Trust me, guys, that is water. But in hypnosis, which takes a second to induce, I've done this for years, guys. That could be medicine that takes your headache away. Or it could be vodka. And you could be absolutely pissed as a fart. I say it as it is. Because if you believe it's vodka, then you process it like vodka. You have a memory of vodka. And that's what you do. 
So if you're scared and I tell you you're confident, you become confident. If you've got pain and I tell you you're pain free, then you become pain free. If, t- if you don't feel well and life is hell, but I tell you that you're well, that's how you feel. The process for me is that I can do it for you and with you, but then my challenge is to get you to do it for yourself. I've just run a self-hypnosis course in my Genesis group. We had about 15 people and they all learned self-programming. If you want to learn, we need a chat to me for that. But Mark's question was that um, synchronicity, that what he created was, he asked a question and then he was out observing. Um, he's a wheelchair user. He goes out in his wheelchair and he's getting well. He's now empowering himself to walk, which he hasn't done for ages. Hi, Karen. And do far more. And the universe is creating circumstances in his life that are making him step up and rise to the challenge. (laughs) I want Jedi mind powers. I love that. Well done, Steph. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Then... Mark and many other people that I work with come out of, and I mean this with the greatest respect because I've been there myself, come out of victim and become a victor. And it's a decision. So Mark went out anyway, and um, he had obviously something on his mind. And then he noticed that on the side of a bus or a wagon, this is in the question, he saw quantum written on the side and it reminded him of the quantum reality that I talk about all the time that we're creating this reality that it's a mindset that the universe is plastic that we can program it that it's like a computer and you can be the software programmer now let me ask you what is it that you would like to change because based on the Wayne Dyer quote which is When you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. What would you like to change? So how can you look at it differently? How can you install different software? Which is the cause, a decision, a file in your mind, which is called a meme. And create a different theme in your life. Because myself and my daughter now a hypnotherapist, qualified hypnotist, and we can change your mind. And when you change your mind, you change your life experience. And you get that Jedi mind power that Steph wants. That you can be Obi-Wan Kenobi. And the beauty of it is, is that once you've done it for yourself and you've got some evidence of how powerful you are in shifting what's called morphogenetics. then you realise it can help other people. So Mary's just kindly saying there, she said, Mike, can I just say I had a session with you a couple of years ago and I've moved from an unhappy position of low self-esteem to changing my life in the last year to working for Barclays. Thank you for saying that, Mary. God bless you. Ever since I landed back in the UK uh, on May the 4th, Surprisingly, may the fourth be with you. Bit of a joke there. Um, I've promised to come and see you, Mary. It's not personal. I just, if you look at what I'm posting and what's going on, but I am coming to see you, Mary, and we'll have that second session and that catch up and chat and everything that we've promised to do. And it's that's a commitment. That's a commitment that's gonna it's gonna happen before Christmas, with your permission. Before Christmas, we'll we'll do it. I promise we'll get together during November. Because I've, I've, that's one of my commitments of about half a dozen that I've still got to tick off and that we're going to get together. But thank you, Mary, for, for, for saying that. And, and, and the fact that you've said that um, and the fact that Steph is in here tonight, who is another one of my, um, we're working together to bring her energy healing up and This gives other people confidence because we're all in the same boat together. We're all in the same boat together. But you think you're alone, but you're not. I mean, we could talk metaphysically how you're not alone because you've got all spirits and angels and 
other dimensional beings around you, which is exactly what Nikki, Wicker, Nikki Whitaker said. Parallel universes, yes. Time travel, yes. Let me just tell you that this is mad what I'm going to say now, that the difference between somebody who can time travel and somebody who can't is just a belief. Because you can time travel now and you don't need a time machine. You're the time machine. And the other dimensions are just literally a little bit off human FM. And when you tune into another frequency, which you do in meditation, astral travel, by location, remote viewing, precognition, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, they're all psychic ESP powers. These are your superpowers, which over the years I've developed for myself and I teach other people and I share with evidence. I share with evidence. If you ever come to one of my workshops or watch the stuff that... Um, and watch the stuff that I demonstrate. I don't do it to make myself look amazing, even though it is amazing. It's not me. It's it's the, the energy and the consciousness. And it's the universe that's amazing. And when you plug into the universe, you unlock your superpowers. And Steph's just telling me there now, I've got two interviews for job lined up working in mental health. Matt. Well, that's amazing. And with the Reiki that you're doing and the intuition that you're getting and the sensitivity through the Reiki training and the power, you'll be... You'll be a, a, a total asset. Well, what a blessing. Well done. Well done. We'll follow that story. We'll follow that story. So Mark had a synchronicity of the fact that quantum was written on the, on the side of the vehicle that he was watching. And the miracle was it happened in that moment because he put it out there into the universe. But you're not separate from the universe. You create the universe. Your eyes are not cameras, they're projectors. I'll say that again. The reason why when you look at things differently, those things change is because that thought inside your head projects outside your head the reality that you see, that you see what you believe. So if you believe something, you put it out there. Your eyes are projectors, not cameras. You're not taking it light in. You're sending light out. We are exothermic. That's why these police helicopters can catch criminals hiding behind a bush because we have a heat signature. It's like the ready but Brett glow on the advert in winter where you glow, we have an aura. We are a battery, we give off light, we are beings of light. And that light projects onto the screen what's called the morphogenetic field. Morphogenetics, morpho to change genetics. We can change our genetics. And if you're following me on Mr. GTV for free, we're talking during November and December to the end of the year about changing DNA, molecular, cellular change through thought, morphing into a better version of you as we get to the end of 2022. By 2023, you can be in peak mental, emotional, physical health by following the free tutorials on Mr. GTV. Now that in itself is worth sharing with your friends and family if you value them. Share because you care. I'm really trying to get the group up to a thousand before the end of the year. And it's all free. So we're at a point now where we're learning quantumly, which is what Mark saw quantum, which is why he saw it, because he's working quantumly to overcome his challenges. He's got personal situations in his life, emotionally and mentally at the moment also, where he needed to see that evidence. And what you find is that when you cosmic order, when you communicate with the universe and you get elemental forces to work for you and not against you, miracles take place because this stuff works whether you believe it or not. If you think about what you don't want, in other words, if you worry, that's negative goal setting. Worrying is thinking about the worst outcome. And if that's your belief that the worst thing's going to happen, you put it out there and guess what happens? The worst thing happens. So think about the best outcome. Think about the best outcome in your health, in your relationships, in your finances, in your personal circumstances, in the world and global situations. Because all we're getting on television through the government that are trying to govern your mentality, because they understand how this works, is to getting us all in fear. Fear, F-E-A-R. 
false expectations appearing real. And it's all false, it's all bullshit. And if we believe it, we project it. It's that perception deception. It's that optical illusion that we talked about in question one. So we're coming up to the hour now, guys. We'll keep this going, but I've got one more question. Which is, how many ancestral energies do we have in our real existence? Now, that was a comment by a lady because I'm posting about energies and posting about um, other dimensions and angels as a series in Mr. GTV. It's all there for you guys. And I'm talking about DNA and stored energy and Kundalini and blockages. Let me tell you that when you come into the world, you come in a baby pre-installed, knowing everything that there is in the world. It's rather like the Superman film where he came from the planet, planet Krypton, Kryptonite, I think. And that was being blown up. And his parents put him into this crystallised egg. And as he came to Earth, he was listening to Earth's history and getting all knowledge. And so when he crash landed in America and became Superboy and then Superman, he knew everything. He had a fantastic mind. He had superpowers. He became Superman. Now, that's what happens when a baby is born. Have, have you realised that if you've got a problem on your mobile phone, you can give it to a four-year-old and they can fix it? Because <laughs> a four-year-old in the womb is absorbing all knowledge in that watery cocoon in the womb. They've not developed a personality. They've not been contaminated by culture or nature or nurture they've not been told who they are what they are what they're capable of they've not learnt any fears they're just pure potentiality and actually a baby is free and uninhibited and that's our natural state to be free and uninhibited i've got grandchildren my son's got a daughter and my daughter's got two daughters and most of the time not not with Alicia now she's older she's 11 but with Amber and Maya, most of the time, Catherine's got to stop them or prevent them from killing themselves because they're like little kamikaze pilots running around fearless. <laughs> That's our natural state, being free and uninhibited. And only when we are free and uninhibited do we express ourselves as superheroes. That's where our superpowers are. And I know that I can tell Amber and Maya anything and they'll believe it is true. They don't judge it. They believe in the Tooth Fairy. They believe in Father Christmas. They believe in the Easter Bunny and everything else that they're told and see. And they're like sponges. And they're very, very impressionable. Now, we've got to get back to that uncontaminated state because in that state, we're at our best as human beings. That's who we are. But then we develop contaminated personalities through experiences in our life. And we lose our power. We've got to get back to that power. And the way that we get back to that power is through meditation and reconnecting with elemental forces and getting back to that uncontaminated state. And you can do it with sound healing, as I said, with Angela Rajalia. And you can do it with Reiki. And you can do it in meditation and mindfulness and a whole lot of other holistic empowering disciplines. The Wim Hof Method. Eating natural food that doesn't con contaminate and toxify the body, which inhibits brain function and body function and heart balance. Get out of fear, step into power and become a warrior, not a warrior. Becoming a victor, not a victim. Because when we're in the womb, we don't make any decisions. We allow the universe to form us, don't we? You know, we don't sort of say, I think I need an eyeball now. I'll have an ear. 
I'll have a big toe. No, we just in that water cocoon, that womb. Hi, Gillian. And it and we come out perfect with our abilities and disabilities. We're all perfect. No mistakes, no accidents. However you come out is how you should come out to serve the universe. We are children of the universe. Star seeds, light beings, perfect. And then when that umbilical cord is cut, we go out on our own. Hi, Gillian. We decide that we're going to do it our way. We're given a name and then it's Mike's way, it's Gillian's way, it's Steph's way, it's Mary's way. And whoever else is watching, Karen, Nikki, Angela, Janice, Sonny, Sue, Tony, Lynn, whoever's watching now, Sasha, Nikki, Fion, Ella, whoever's watching now, and uh, we have a name and we do it our way, we go it alone. To the degree that we go it alone, we mess it up. We've got to connect. And then we get the wisdom, then we get the power, then we get the superpowers, then we get the gifts of the spirit as the Bible talks about us. We go through a Pentecostal enlightenment. Our crown chakra becomes a burning flame. And we get the blessings. Because gravity works, doesn't it? I mean, gravity works as an elemental force, whether we understand it or not whether it's convenient or not, whether we know about it or not. If you jump off a building, you're going to go splat on the pavement below, even if you didn't know about gravity. Well, rake is the same, and the law of attraction is the same. And there's a lot of mental laws and elemental laws about positivity and negativity and love and light and dark Psychic vampires, angels, a whole load of stuff out there for us. Hugging trees, getting around waterfalls, working with crystals. Things that have been gifted to us on this planet to allow us to live powerfully and harmoniously and free and uninhibited like my grandkids. And when you connect back to those basic skills, that's where the power is, that's where the wisdom is, that's where the joy is. But everything on television at the moment is so far removed from that because of the hidden hid, hidden agenda, because of hidden history, because of fear projection through the television and the media, and because of the reset and everything that's being rewritten and reinvented at the moment. And in my opinion, a mass culling of the population. And that's controversial and I probably shouldn't have said that, but it's what I believe. And if you don't believe that and you want to chat, call me and we'll have a chat about that. And I never say that I'm right. I'd like to hear your opinion if you disagree with me. But you're connected, in my opinion, to everybody and everything we have on the top of our head, a point that the Chinese have called for thousands of years, the meeting of the hundreds. It's like an aerial, like a Teletubby thing, and you are a transmitter and a receiver. That your energies introduce you as you walk into a room or into a place of space before you've even opened your mouth. And you know people that give you the heebie-jeebies that you know are just not good people to be around. And you know people that make you feel good and boosted and lift your mood and lift your attitude and you walk away from and you feel a benefit from their presence, their vibration, their essence, their charisma, their aura. I want to be one of those people that makes people feel good. I want to be one of those people that just by being there raises their vibration. Thank you, Mary. So for me, yes, so for me, we'll talk, Mary, about that. I'll read it first and get back to you. So for me, Reiki and other energy healing modalities, meditation, mindfulness, sound therapy, colour therapy, and colour therapy is something that's free at the moment on Mr GTV. I think we're up to red at the moment. We've done pink, 
We're moving towards green. We're doing all the chakra colours, all the rainbow colours, all the vibrations, all for free. Check this stuff out. It's not woo-woo and apply it. It's no good knowing it and not doing it. It's no good knowing it and not doing it. You've got to take positive action. You've got to shift and then you won't feel shit. So here's my last question for you guys. How are you getting on with what I've posted already with the lucid dreaming? How are you getting on with the tree hugging? How are you getting on with the colour therapy? Let me know. Comment, question, challenge. Push me to give you more. That's what motivates me. How are you getting on with the training I'm offering? And if there's any training that you'd like, if it's an area of my expertise or something that I can research and present, let me know. We've got about, we're just short of 600 members in a year. It would be absolutely wonderful if we can get up to a thousand because I'm trying to create a movement because there is an algorithm that's called critical mass, hundredth monkey syndrome, a tipping point within any community, with any, any family, any team, any town, any city, any nation, that if you get more than 33 and a third percent of any population, small or large, with a mindset, with a belief system, they radiate that out through this Teletubby point called the meeting of the hundreds. And the Chinese call it that because you can meet hundreds of people exactly where you are now through meditation, visualization. You can shift meditation into manifestation. You can shift a belief a thought, which is a cause, into a thing. As I said, right at the very beginning, we've gone full circle, not by mistake, that when you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. And when you create images in your head, consistent with the world that you want to see, you manifest the world that you want to see, that the world that you want to see comes from you and me. The world that we want to see comes from you and me. And the more of us that there is on Mr. GTV, the more power we've got in the healing circles. And the next healing circle for free on Mr. GTV with me is on 11-11, not by mistake. It's on the 11th of November, which is the 11th month at 11pm. That's the angel number. And we're going to be doing global manifestation and personal empowerment and healing and it's free so join me on the 11th and as i say tell your friends i understand that mary don't apologize i'm really happy for you i'm really happy for you that you're doing well honestly i'm really happy for you so just if you know anybody's interested in this stuff, just share, get them into the group. There's no subscription. Well, subscription means you signed up for it, but there's no charge. I'm not charging you for this stuff. And if you want to talk to me, I'm not one of these guys that post some runs. All talking is free. If we have a session, there's a fee. But I give all my money, most of it to charity. So ultimately, it's a win, win, win. So share it with your friends. Let's get a thousand in before the end of the year, because if we can hit this critical mass, the more people in the group, the more people in the healing circles. And the next one is on the 11th of November, the 11th day of the 11th month on the 11th hour, 11 o'clock on November the 11th healing circle, about 40 minutes. It's empowering. It's fun. It'll excite your system. It'll boost your metabolism. It'll kickstart your immune response and you can basically reset yourself never mind this global reset you can reset yourself when you change the way you look at things the things that you look at change if you look at yourself in a different way you can become powerful pain free you can personally develop yourself into a more personally powerful person all the peas there so thanks for joining me tonight if you think of any questions that you want answering, post them and I'll answer them next time. I'll be back next Monday. Thank you for watching me on Mr. GTV for free and not I'm a celebrity. And uh, I think it's absolutely disgraceful that Matt Hancock's on there. 
given celebrity status, he should be in prison, in my opinion. But don't dwell on that. Dwell on the good, because there's a lot of good. And uh, have a wonderful Monday evening for however long you stay up. Have a wonderful week, and I'll speak to you all in the week, but I'll definitely see you back here. Same time, same channel as you used to say on Batman. God bless you all. Take care.